So level 3.5 uh, will come back again when, we're, when you see this in calculus. Uh, but for right now, solving inequalities involving a quadratic is much like solving any quadratic we've seen before. We first want to see if we can factor it, uh, and so that's what we're going to do. We want to know where is this quadratic greater than zero, and then graph the solution set. So first, I want to see if I can factor this. So I'm going to pretend that this is just x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals zero. Okay? So first off, see if we can factor. So that'd be x, x. So I want negative 6, positive 2. So that means my zeros happen at x equals 6 and x equals negative 2. Right? If I graphed this, I know my y-intercept would be at negative 12. My vertex is going to be at uh, negative b4 over 2 times 1, so it would be at 2. And if I plug 2 in, I get uh, probably lower than this. So 2 squared is 4 minus 8, so negative 4 minus 16, so the vertex is at 2, negative 16, which makes sense. So our graph looks something like this, right? And I'm asking you, where is this above the x-axis? My one point here is negative 2. My other point here is 6. So really, what we want to look at is we can just boil this, this whole graph down to a number line. And what we're going to put on there is our intercepts. And all we're going to do is we're going to test to see where this is positive or negative. Okay? Because I want this, I want to check where this is greater than zero. So I plug in a number. Plug in a number left of negative two. Negative three. If you plug in negative 3, you get negative 3 minus 6, which is negative, and then negative 3 plus 2, which is negative. I don't care what the numbers are. A negative times a negative is a positive. All I care about is the sign. We call these sign charts. Okay? Pick a number between negative 2 and 6. So... I'm going to pick 0. So if I do 0, I have 0 minus 6, and then this is 0 plus 2. So that's a negative times a positive. A negative times a positive is a negative. And then past 6, I'm going to pick a number that's greater than 6. So 7, which would be 7 minus 6 is positive, and then 7 plus 2 is also positive. So all I want to know is, where are these positive? So I'm positive to the left of negative 2 and to the right of 6. So negative infinity to negative 2 and 6 to infinity. If I changed my inequality here, then I'd have something different. So if this was less than or equal to, then I'd have brackets, okay? If I was less than, then I'd be on the inside, so I'd have something different written. So let's try another one. Solve the inequality and graph the solution set. This is what the graph is supposed to look like. All it is is a number, or a number line, okay? So let's first get everything over to one side. I wanna keep the x squared positive. So 2x squared minus x, minus 10 is less than 0, okay? Again, I want to first see if I can factor this. So that's, let's see, numbers that multiply to negative 20 that add to negative 10. Sorry, numbers that multiply negative 20 that add to negative 1, which would be, oh, that works out nice. That'd be negative 4 and... Sorry, positive 4 and negative 5. So I could do my factor by grouping here. Or I can see that's just 2x. That's x. And I want 
5 and 2. So 2, 5. I want this to be negative. That to be positive. That gives me my positive 4. That gives me my negative 5. Okay, so my two zeros, my intercepts, are going to be x equals 5 halves and x equals negative 2. So now I just take my number line. I'm going to plot my two points, negative 2 and 5 halves, which 5 halves is 2.5. And now I'm going to see. I want numbers less than 0. So where... So where are the values negative? So if I pick a number to the left of negative 2, so negative 3. If I plug in a negative 3, that gives me negative 6 minus 5, which is negative. And then negative 3 plus 2, which is negative. So that gives me a positive. Between negative 2 and 5 halves, I always pick 0 if I can. So that would give me negative 5 times 2, which is a negative times a positive, which is a negative. And then 5 halves is going to be a positive. So if I plug in 3, I get a positive times a positive. So the only region where I'm negative is between negative 2 and 5 halves. Do I include those? No, because I'm less than. So I go from negative 2 to 5 halves. And that's your solution set. That's all level 3.5 is. Now we're done.